Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today we're going to talk about moisture protein balance. Can you deep condition too much? Can you add too much protein in your hair? The answer is yes. I mean, as the Spice Girls originally said, too much of something is bad enough, bad enough. So you never want too much of one or the other. So how do we get moisture in our hair? That's the one thing that we're usually always striving to get through deep conditioning every week, heavy deep conditioners, leave-in conditioners. We use a lot of type of conditioners because curly hair is prone to dryness. So we're trying to fill our hair with moisture, but you could be adding too much. I have just recently realized that's probably why I'm usually never happy with my day one hair because I'm applying too much moisture. Shampoo, conditioner, sometimes a deep conditioner after, and then my hair is usually pretty weighed down on day one. Granted, our hair is always gonna look better as the days goes on, but I think I'm leaving my deep conditioners in for too long. I'm someone that has medium or normal porosity hair, meaning water can enter my hair and it kind of just stays in there. So if I get too much moisture, it's all gonna stay in there, creating my hair to be kind of limp and mushy if I get too much moisture. So if I deep condition for like an hour, I'm probably not going to like how my hair looks because it's going to be too much moisture and almost impossible to get any volume. So if you have damaged hair, you might be thinking, okay, I need a deep condition once a week. Let me just deep condition every day and that way my hair will repair faster. Or let me just deep condition all day long. But that's not exactly how it works. Just like working out. Let's say you want to work out every single day or you can work out seven times in one day and not work out the rest of the week. It's not going to give you the same results. Now, in order for you to really understand the protein moisture balance, it is going to be helpful to understand your hair porosity. Without getting too deep into it, I do have a full video on this, but let me try to quickly explain hair porosity before we move on. There are three different types of hair porosity, low porosity, medium porosity, or high porosity. If you have low porosity hair, your hair cuticles are shut down. They do not want to let anybody in. Ladies free on guest list before 1030 and it's 1031, you ain't getting in. So it's a little bit harder to get that moisture into your hair because it's locked. That's where it's good to use a heat cap or some steam to kind of lift up those cuticles to get in that moisture. Then there's medium porosity hair, the ideal place to be within porosity. Your hair cuticles aren't wide open, but they aren't completely shut. They're just, you know, at a comfortable level. They'll let some moisture in, they'll let it stay there, hang out and have a good time. And then there's high porosity hair. High porosity hair, the doors are wide open. So it seems like a free for all because everybody could just come in, but since the doors stay open, everybody could just leave as well. So easy moisture in, easy moisture out. It's hard to retain that moisture, causing your hair to be dry and sometimes brittle. So in order to help close those hair shafts, that's where we're gonna want more protein. Our hair is made up of protein, so adding in more protein is kinda like closing the door little by little as it gets healthier until it reaches a nice medium or normal state. So finding that moisture protein balance is gonna help determine how much moisture and how much protein you should be adding to your routine. High porosity hair is often correlated to damaged hair, not because it's bad, but if your hair has heat damage or is color treated, that is going to affect your cuticles, raising them up, creating a higher porosity. So you might have virgin hair that's low porosity, but then you got your hair bleached and you straightened it all the time, and now your porosity has changed to high porosity. Or you could be someone that has never dyed their hair, doesn't straighten their hair, but your hair still sucks up moisture like a sponge. That's just because of genetics. It's also possible to just have high porosity hair that is not damaged. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a perfect moisture protein balance routine using some new products from Curlsmith. Today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith. You guys have been asking about their new stylers, so I'm gonna tell you my opinions and how to apply them correctly. So if you need some more protein or your hair is damaged and it needs repair, I definitely recommend the new Bond Curl Rehab Solve by Curlsmith. This is not a protein treatment. I wanted to make that very clear because some people try to say that this is just a protein treatment that it's not similar to Olaplex at all. Correction, 
it actually is a bonding treatment that just also happens to have protein in it as well. It has three different bonding properties. I will list them here because they are very long and hard to pronounce, but these are the special ingredients that are made particularly to repair your hair, not just protein. Right on the bottle, it explains if you have low porosity hair, you only need to use this every two to three wash days. And if you have medium porosity hair like me, you're only gonna need to use it every other wash day. And if you have high porosity hair, meaning you really need that extra protein and repairing properties, you can use this every single wash day. And for most of us, that's about once or twice a week. Now, when people need protein in their hair, they often turn to protein treatments or protein masks. But Curlsmith has just launched two styling products that also contain protein. So if you have high porosity hair and you need more protein that you're getting from just your treatments, you also can add it to your stylers. Protein can be found in shampoos, conditioners, leave-ins, stylers, but these two new ones from Curlsmith, they give you a foam option and a cream styler. With the two new stylers, it is actually recommended in the instructions to use the protein cream first, followed by the volume foam on top. But I have been trying this for a while now, and I have seen better results personally when I use the foam first, followed by the cream. I like to layer my products so that the last product is the one that has the most hold, to kind of hold everything together and create that cast. So I'm going to be applying the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam first, really scrunching it at my roots, and then following it up with the Protein Cream Styler. Let me show you how I incorporated these into my routine. Starting off with the Curlsmith Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. This is a styling foam for curly and wavy hair. It has a light hold and it claims to have zero cast. So because it doesn't have any type of cast, I wanted to use this first, really focusing on my roots and scrunching it to get some more volume. After experimenting with the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam, I personally have come to the conclusion that this will work best when paired with a gel, so you do have some sort of cast on your hair, but it is a great lightweight way to add some more protein to your curls if you really need some more protein. I'm gonna be grabbing the Feather Light Protein Cream to add on top. This is a styling cream for weak and damaged curls to define, style, and strengthen your hair with a medium hold. The Feather Light Protein Cream has wild rice protein, pressed hemp oil, prickly pear cactus, sweet almond oil, shredded kale, guava fruit juice, and shiitake mushrooms. I absolutely love the smell of this new line. I do think it is slightly different from the rest of their products. It's giving me more of like a grape sweeter vibe, but it's still very refreshing. So I'm going to be raking this through my hair using the prayer hands method to smooth down my curls, seal in the moisture, and then scrunch it back up for definition. Now after experimenting, I did realize that the protein cream does work well enough to use on its own, being a level four hold. It is gonna be a light hold for those of you that love lightweight products. This could be your new cream styler, especially if you need some more protein. But if you do want to make sure that it lasts throughout the week, I do recommend pairing these products with a gel to give you some more hold. So I'm going to be applying the In Shower Style Fixer Styling Gel on top. This is their strongest hold gel for high definition and anti-frizz. And as you can see, this bottle is almost empty because I do use it all the time because it has such an amazing hold. So now that all these products are completely raked into my hair, I'm going to let it air dry a little bit and then come back to diffuse. Wow, okay, quick pause. My curls are looking juicy. Let me zoom in. Dramatic zoom. Do you see how juicy they are? These are moisturized, healthy curls, not dry at all. Full 360. Bouncy. So pretty. So right now I feel like my hair has the perfect blend of both moisture and protein. I'm getting that bounce, so it has the moisture in it. I'm getting minimal frizz, so that shows that it's also nice and moisturized, it's not too dry. I'm also not feeling any like brittleness or stiffness. Everything is very soft and bouncy. So go ahead and fill your hair and figure out what your hair really needs. If you touch it and it feels really dry and brittle, like it's about to break, it's going to need some more moisture, deep condition, leave-in conditioners, cream stylers. If your hair feels almost too soft and it's like mushy and doesn't really have any bounce or any volume, you might need some more protein. So that is where adding protein products to your routine will definitely help restore your hair for that perfect moisture protein balance. 
If you have low porosity hair, you might not need that much protein because your hair is not damaged, it doesn't really need to be repaired. So you probably can get away with just using a treatment about once a month. If you have normal porosity hair like me, I would probably just use this once a month and then add a styler to add a little bit extra protein every now and then. If your hair is damaged, needs repair, really needs more protein, then you should be using the Boncur Rehab Solve and adding one or two stylers to your hair as much as possible until you've reached that nice protein moisture balance. Don't go overboard. It's really going to be on an as need per person basis. So that might have been a lot of information for you if you are new to porosity and protein and all the scientific things about our hair. Once you really start to understand it, understand your hair, things will get easier and you will have better results because you're now applying the correct products that your hair needs. So all these Curlsmith products are available at Ulta Beauty or the Curlsmith website. I'll make sure to put my personal link in the description box. So if you do purchase something, please use my link so they know that you came from me. If you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.